Well, I got plenty of sleep. I'm super well rested, but I woke up with kind of like a, a limp thing or something. So I'm gonna chill here at the apartment for a bit, see how I feel, um, do a bit of writing before I head to the office. In the meantime, you can uh, watch reruns at samehandle.tv. Follow this show on Twitter at samehandle. And I wanna give a special shout out to all the people who signed up for Snapchat and are now making a show just like this one. You mentioned same handle in a tweet and talk about your show. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of love there for the rest of the uh, whatever same handle people. You get it, Outmouth. Go click that follow button on Outmouth. Not Rody has been uh, live all day. Click that follow on Not Rody. Queen, Coeen, whatever. Queen's been at it. Click that follow. There are more shows out there inspired by same handle, but uh, y'all aren't tweeting about it, so. Lot Radio's live. I'm thinking about Lot Radio right now. The Lot Radio. People asking for more Hana. This is as good as it gets. She's working. First mask subscription of the day just came in. Pretty pumped. Always pumped to see that. Uh, Ad-free publishing. It's happening. When people subscribe to Mask Magazine, it increases the amount of money that we have to work with in future months, which means uh, more content and more writers. So when I see a subscription come in, it always reminds me to be looking to the future, to um, say thank you in the best possible way. If you don't rely on your readers for that kind of support, you have no incentive to think about the future in the same way. That's why you see articles that are just like, you know, 12 crazy ways to tie your shoelaces. If you only care about who's clicking on an article now, um, where are you going? There are entire publishing companies whose sole financial objective is to have popular Facebook posts. That's good for, you know, Mark Zuckerberg and the Facebook team. Um, but give it a few years and see who's left. Should I tweeze my eyebrows? Let me give you a crazy number. For every thousand people that read an article on Mask, 800 of them clicked on a Facebook link to get there. So it's obviously important to be good at Facebook. I'm not trying to trash talk, uh, you know, posting clickable content or something. In fact, besides subscribing, the second most important thing you can do to support any small magazine online is to click like on Facebook. In my view, there are two types of internet hell. One is having to hear people ask you to like something on Facebook. The other is asking. But you can go to facebook.com slash mask magazine or hop over to the app and search mask magazine and click like. And that way, when we do publish a new article and other people are sharing it and commenting and liking it, you and your friends are more likely to see it. And that's how our uh, traffic grows. But unlike pretty much every other article you see posted to Facebook, we don't make any money from traffic. Pretty much all of the articles on Mask Magazine that have like been shared on Facebook more than 50,000 times are free. Free in the sense that uh, you don't have to be a subscriber to read it. And also free in the sense that there's no ads, so nothing is paying for it. But we're not publishing in a vacuum. There's a relationship between those free articles and the long-form features available to subscribers. Which means there's no reason for our free articles to be like tacky, viral clickbait. They actually have to represent what we think our readership uh, wants to read about, what they think is consistent with their lives, relevant. So when we're out in the world uh, living our lives and just completely exhausted by all these companies competing for our attention, and we flip open our laptop and we check Facebook and there is like an article about people falling off of benches or Disney princesses or something and we click on it. 
And you know that little moment when there's like an epic fail or a cat gif or something and you're just like, ah, a moment of relief. I think I just blacked out for a second. I gave my attention to something completely absurd and that gives me a sense of relief from all these corporations competing for my brain. But you know who pays people to put together those articles? Banks. Insurance companies. Axe body spray. Whatever. I'm not saying all publishing on the internet should be ad-free. Eh, maybe I am saying that. But some of it should. And the stuff that should, um, should be made by us. Before us. That's what we're trying to do. Wasn't I just saying yesterday to uh, not work at home? Uh, fuck this. I'm going to take a shower and go to the office. By the way, this is three days worth of screenshots. Got to keep things clean. I use this app called Hazel that um, will or automatically like organize them for me. Keep your desktops clean. It's raining today, so I've got my rain jacket on. I'm gonna head to the mask office, see if I can get some shots on the commute, then see what I can do about some code. It's pretty nasty out here. We'll see if it's dry enough to record these. And some of you uh, mentioned uh, like coins jingling while I was walking. They weren't coins, I'm broke. Those were my keys, which are uh, the reason why I'm broke. And to that certain someone who was roasting me for kind of like breathing harder than I maybe should while I'm walking, fuck you. Actually, I am in pretty terrible shape. Maybe that'll be a plot arc this season. But you shouldn't roast people about that. It's normative. And also, as I'm sure people will figure out if they start recording shows like this themselves, walking fast and speaking smoothly for the camera is pretty hard. It's only 10 seconds. Roast me about something else. Another subscriber on my walk. Thank you. No more soda. I'm not feeling a hundred, so it's time to reawaken, rebirth, repurpose, redefine my guava goddess. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's a pretty low bar. In another life, I had this block laser engraved for my letterpress studio. It's uh, a lion eating a man, my personal brand. Gotta deal with the dust. And filth. <sighs> this is what my setup looks like. Now I'm gonna write some code. Uh, I'll see you when I'm done. Do something productive while I'm gone. Someone already made a submission for a title screen. Um, click that follow on Ahmad Ills. Just got some dinner. Thanks, dude. Catching up on my soaps. Stench is ridiculous, and she looks like she's a mess. I put on makeup today. That's the first step. You look like a slob, to put it mildly, and this place. A slob. Yeah, this is how people live when they're like really depressed. So maybe I'm really depressed. I so I was just watching the Nevada caucuses, and Trump was speaking, and somebody screams, "Dad!" Another subscriber. Thank you. Really, it's just a matter of time before somebody asks me if this is art. Why don't you ask her? Oh, I have a photo shoot today, and I'm really having a hard time just dealing with what's going on in my personal life, and I'm trying not to bring that in. You're saying that you have a handful of people who have incredible wealth and incredible power. They have economic power, they have political power. 
I think it's important to be firm with the press. Like, even though I'm like a publisher myself, I want to make sure I know what I'm getting into and if I'll be represented well. Is that we have too many instances here in South Carolina. Uh, we had uh, Walter Scott, North Charleston. We, we, there was a young white teenager. Well, it's uh, 11 sharp, and I'm headed home after a long day of clickety-clack. It's actually still kind of wet out, but it's one of those Pacific Northwest rains. Barely happens. The kind that doesn't seem like rain at all until about 30 minutes later and you're soaked. I don't really know if there was a theme today, really. What do you think? I guess thinking back, I'd have to say that maybe it's about the importance of plugging things you're working on. We're almost conditioned not to share our work because all these companies are constantly advertising at us. So it's in that spirit of defiance, I guess, that I share all of the spin-offs y'all been doing. Keep it up. So if you're telling the story, of your dull existence, like I'm telling the story of my dull one. So keep sending them my way at same handle on Twitter. I'll retweet you, maybe throw them up here, keep it moving. But I want you all to do something for me. Find someone that you think might like this stupid experiment. Tell them to get a Snapchat and follow. Tune in, reality. This is my life, real time. Might be your life real time. Add abolish me. Tell them to hit up those reruns. Same handle.tv. Take you straight to the backlog. One last thing before I call it a night. Our producer and my roommate is out on the town making connections. She left her key here, so I'm gonna leave it out for her. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna take out the garbage. There's a lot of trash in the world. Take it out. That's about it. Calling it a night. See you next time. Same handle TV, same handle on Twitter. Abolish me. And Isabel, if you're watching, we need trash bags. Credits: Hana, Isabel, and Anjum. All the mass contributors and subscribers. And you.